next Tuesday, 4 o'clock. Bye. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. Do you have any questions about legal issues? Have you ever been stopped by a police officer and issued a ticket that you're scared to deal with? Have you ever been in trouble with the law and don't know what to do? Do you have a will or power of attorney question? Is your home being foreclosed upon and you don't know where to turn? Maybe you were given a contract that you don't understand. For freedom and a worry-free solution, call for Legal Shield today at 213-245-1305. It's that simple. You will have access to high-quality law firms that will fight for you for less than a dollar a day. Peace of mind is just a call away. That's for Legal Shield. Call 213-245-1305 or visit us at nocourt.us. It's justice for all and not justice for some. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949 445 1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you with startup capital, business strategy, sales and marketing, and establishing your company with a physical location or on the internet. You decide. You bring the idea. The American Business Trust Company can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, you may visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's A-B-T-R-U-S-T-C-O.com or call them at 657-600-1876. That's the American Business Trust Company, 657-600-1876. Call them today. They can help your business right away. Do you have any questions about legal issues? Have you ever been stopped by a police officer and issued a ticket that you're scared to deal with? Have you ever been in trouble with the law and don't know what to do? Do you have a will or power of attorney question? Is your home being foreclosed upon and you don't know where to turn? Maybe you were given a contract that you don't understand. For freedom and a worry-free solution, call for Legal Shield today at 213-245-1305. It's that simple. You will have access to high-quality law firms that will fight for you for less than a dollar a day. Peace of mind is just a call away. That's for Legal Shield. Call 213-245-1305 or visit us at nocourt.us. It's justice for all and not justice for some. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. 
Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949-445-1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you start up with capital, business strategy, sales, and marketing, and establish your company with a physical location or an online presence on the internet. You decide, you bring the idea, then American Business Trust can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's abtrustco.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's American Business Trust Company, 657-600-1876. Call them today. They'll help your business right away. That's American Business Trust Company. Online at abtrustco.com. American Business Trust Company. Welcome to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal. Today's show is brought to you by Place Your Bet. If you like to bet on sports games, maybe basketball, football, baseball, hockey, boxing, the MMA, even golf, and you're looking for a real better's edge on the casino sports book, call Place Your Bet right now at 702-799-9935. 702-799-9935 and subscribe. Place Your Bet uses money movement to determine their picks, just like the casino odds makers. They're the guys the casino don't want you to know about. Call Place Your Bet at 702-799-9935 right now to sign up for your subscription or visit them at placeyourbet.vegas. Get winners and cash tickets today with Place Your Bet and tell them the sports circus sent you. And a big welcome to everybody listening in on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast. I'm going to jump into a little baseball right away, right here with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, of Orange County, of the Orange Curtain, of the Santa Ana Riverbed, of Earth, with a rock pile out in center field and a garden hose for a fountain and bottle rockets when they hit a home run. Those guys have a guy by the name of Shoei Otani, but you could call him... Show me the money! Well, that guy, you may recall that he is a really good pitcher from Japan and also is a pretty good hitter. Now, he went under Tommy John surgery recently, I guess in the offseason nonetheless, and they've had him, the Angels have had him hitting while he cannot pitch. And unfortunately... There are risks when you still go up and hit the ball, despite whether you're throwing it is a different argument altogether. That's why they always say, you know, pitchers really aren't supposed to. And here we go. Here we go. It's the Angels. Uh, It's their turn to bat in the eighth inning. Last night's game against the Minnesota Twins, but you can call them the Twinkies. And Otani, the designated hitter, is up to bat, and guess what happens? He was jammed by a 94-mile-an-hour fastball by Taylor Rogers, and the pitch hit his right thumb, or right ring finger, excuse me, as Otani struck out. Yes, he struck out, but he injured himself in the effort. So here we go. You take a guy like Otani, what is he? He is a right-handed pitcher. And so Otani goes and injures his pitching hand, which he already has, the Tommy John thing, so his, his whole elbow was opened up, and that's the ulna nerve. You know, folks, if you ever have hit your funny bone, 
you say, oh, that you know, kind of hurts, but it doesn't kind of hurt, whatever. It's just a weird feeling. Well, that would be the ulnar nerve, and that's that whole Tommy John thing. Well, guess what? This guy is recovering from the surgery, and he's up to bat. And what does he do? He injures his pitching hand, even though he's not pitching. The point is there is a risk every time you go to bat in big league baseball. It is what it is. And even when you're all the way down to high school baseball, it's the same damn thing. So here we go. Otani goes up to bat. What does he do? He hurts himself. And this is a real problem because, number one, this guy should not be swinging a baseball bat. I'm sorry. I don't care if he is a 280 hitter, whatever. He can hit for power. That's fine. The problem is when this is your future pitcher, you already have your future in Mike Trout. You've already signed him for a ton of years for some mad amount of money, 400 plus million, whatever the case. So he is your outfielder. And Otani is your pitcher. These are your two big guns moving forward as you go through a rebuild because Pujols and other guys are going to retire from that club. And the Angels do have some good players. But here we go with one of their top guys getting hurt. It doesn't have to happen. And so a real problem here with the Angels because they're risking the health of their future superstars to fill the seats. And I don't really think they need to do that. They do have a young uh, a sh- shortstop as well, a very good one. His name is Andrelton Simmons. And so, in fact, just two pitches after Otani goes down from striking out and hurting himself, it's Simmons. He's trying to beat out a grounder on the right side of the infield. I, I saw this, and I-, I just shook my head. I couldn't believe it. He landed. He stretched to first base to try to beat the throw, but he landed awkwardly on his left ankle and lunged forward for first base as he was helped off the field. Now, x-rays afterwards were negative for both players, but Simmons will undergo an MRI today to determine if there was any ligament damage. Now, post-MRI, the headline reads, Andrelton Simmons likely to miss months with a grade three ankle sprain. Quote, more concerned about Simmons' injury than Shohei's, Angels manager Brad Osma said, quote, I feel like Shohei, by all indications, should be fine a quicker time frame. We don't know what Simmons' time frame is, but that's probably a bigger concern. Now, Simmons is a four-time gold glove winner at shortstop, bats cleanup, Leads the team and hits with 56, and he does hit behind, if I'm not mistaken, he hits behind Mike Trout or, yeah, I think he does hit behind Mike Trout. Anyway, the point being is now the Angels really have themselves into a pickle. They're already playing under 500 ball, and for our listeners in sunny Southern California that are hearing this, you've got a guy by the name of Billy Epler that's in your front office that just seems to be making bad decision after bad decision and it's time for Billy Epler's position to be reevaluated. First of all, you don't pitch your or you don't hit your pitching star as a designated hitter while he's trying to recover. First and foremost, that's a big no-no. Secondly, the way the the way he manages the personnel for the team is certainly a lot less to be desired. Now, Brett Osmus, what his was his special assistant was Billy Epler's special assistant for the last year or so. And he did a pretty good job. The problem is when you've got a guy like Epler that's used to having a lot of money and a lot of resources like he had with the Boston Red Sox, you end up with a team that basically squanders opportunities and squanders monies in many different ways. And let's face it, the Angels do have a big payroll, and they do have a lot of money to spend. That would be Arnie and Marino. But ultimately, if you want to put a winning product on the field, the last thing you want to do is is to risk your guys when you don't have to. Now, the Simmons injury, there's nothing that could be done about that. He just merely tried to extend, and I'm sure all you baseball players out there, softball players, you've tried to beat a a grounder out to first, and you've stretched a little bit too far, and either you missed the bag, you jammed your toes in the bag, or you overshot the bag and rolled your ankle. All kinds of bad things can happen with that. But unfortunately, in the case of Shoei Otani, that was an injury that could have been prevented. So I don't think it's a good idea, and I think a guy like Billy Epler really needs to have his position reviewed. But then again, I'm not in Angels front office or in management. I can only make a suggestion. For all you Angels fans out there and you Dodger fans that are, I wouldn't say laughing about it, but you're applauding 
the miscues by the Angels. Good for you, and we'll see what happens in the future. Folks, we have a special guest. We're going to be back here in just a few minutes from the drag racing world. You don't want to miss this one. Back in a few minutes here on the Sports Circus. Don't go anywhere. Here is today's top automotive tech story. I'm Nick Miles. Kia introduces its new flagship SUV, the Telluride, packed with automotive tech, including the Kia DriveWise suite of advanced driver assistance systems and an available 10.25 inch color touchscreen with rear view monitor and parking guidance. Telluride will have available wireless smartphone charging, available six total USB charging ports, multi Bluetooth wireless connectivity, allowing two phones to connect simultaneously. For more cool car tech, visit testmiles.com. Hop into the all-new Greater Than Ever Corolla, now with a redesigned sporty exterior. The Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 comes standard with advanced tech safety features, bringing peace of mind to every drive. Go to toyota.com slash testmiles for details. You're listening to Global American Broadcasting, the Gab Radio Network. For more info on our programs and services, including technical operations and syndication, please visit gabradionetwork.com. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. Here is today's top auto tech story. I'm Nick Miles. Looking to compete with Chinese rivals, Toyota and Panasonic are set to launch a joint venture next year to produce batteries for electric vehicles. The business could help Toyota achieve an annual sales target of around 1 million zero emission battery EVs by 2030. Car gurus recently published results of a survey of American adult consumers regarding their interest in electric vehicles. 15% said they were probably going to own one. For more cool car tech, visit testmiles.com. Hop into the all-new greater-than-ever Corolla, now with a redesigned sporty exterior. The Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 comes standard with advanced tech safety features, bringing peace of mind to every drive. Go to toyota.com slash testmiles for details. You're listening to Global American Broadcasting, the Gab Radio Network. For more info on our programs and services, including technical operations and syndication, please visit gabradionetwork.com. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal. This segment is brought to you by Cali Vegas, helping people just like you create and host your very own radio, TV, or multimedia talk show. Cali Vegas can help you with everything you need to get out of sitting in hours of traffic like you're doing right now and host your very own talk show in your very own studio. Call Cali Vegas at 949 445 1119. That's 949 445 1119. Again, 949 445 1119. Or visit them at kellyvegas.com that's c-a-l-i vegas.com and tell them the sports circus sent you and a big welcome back to everybody listening in on iHeartRadio, spotify and our cbs nbc and fox sports affiliates from coast to coast folks we are joined by a special guest and i'm going to let him introduce himself go ahead well i'm uh, first out thanks for letting me on the show my name's john Forrest. Uh, I drive uh, uh, the Peak Chevrolet uh, out of Chicago. Uh, 
we're heading to Chicago to run the race. We're on the NHRA drag racing uh, series. Uh, probably we're like our eighth or ninth race to end of the season, and all our cars are up in the top of the points, so we're pretty excited about that. We've run in Las Vegas. The new four-wide there that Bruton Smith built, uh, uh, that opened with the first big race this year. So I, I'm excited to be on your show. Looking forward, forward to coming to Chicago. I've, I, I've got a lot of wins there, a lot of low qualifiers, and we'll see where it goes here. In about a week and a half, we'll be rolling into Chicago. All right, sounds great. And folks, in case you don't know who John Force is, he's basically the father of the first family of drag racing, a 16-time NHRA funny car champion. And, John, don't you have 20 wins as an owner as well? Isn't it 20 wins? Yeah, I've got 16 myself, but a total with my team drivers, 20. But my drivers are young. Robert Heidi's won two championships. Uh, my daughter, Brittany, in Top Fuel, she won the championship uh, a year ago. Uh, in 2017, uh, and 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 uh, Courtney, uh, she was driving my 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 Chevrolet, but she uh, took a year or two off. Uh, she married Graham Rahal, uh, Indy car driver. In fact, she's in Indy right now. They qualified for the Indy 500. So, yeah, I've been real lucky. A lot of success with my family, and uh, and all of my drivers. So we'll see where it goes. Oh, and a belated happy birthday to you, because mine is actually a day before yours. Yeah, well, see, you're just a kid, though, but I'm getting up there in years. But, you know, my hot rod, uh, it does the running for me. Uh, uh, so age is really no limit in this sport. But, uh, you know, I love what I do. I love being with the fans. We're talking about a race car that, uh, you know, uh, that goes down a track at over 330 miles an hour, 10,000 horsepower, and uh, smoking the tires, nitromethane, belching out of the pipe. It's the greatest show on earth. NHRA is what I call it. You know, I had a conversation with one of my buddies about an hour and a half ago, and he said, ask John about Art Malone's racetrack in Florida when you drove the Chi-Town Hustler. Well, I never actually raced the Chi-Town Hustler, but Austin Coyle, uh, the, the, the man that was one of the owners, Bar Barconis, Coyle, and many. I uh, ran the Chi Town Hustler. Frank Hawley, there was numerous drivers. Frank Hawley was one of them that drove. And then Coyle came to work for me. Uh, but Malone, uh, a, a guy for years out of Florida, a great racer, raced with Big Daddy Don Gartlett. Oh, geez, for a lot of years, a lot of championships. But Malone, you know, uh, built that track down there. And I, we raced every winter in the winter series for about 10 years uh, right down that area. And I loved it because I could go down there to Sarasota, and, 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 and look at the, uh, the circuses that were down there. Right. Uh, uh, like I said, the greatest show on the earth. Well, John, this guy said, and you had said to him, if I had your name, I'd be a millionaire. Do you remember who that was? Are you talking about Malone? Nope, nope. Talking about Dan Pastorini. Oh, you never said Dan Pastorini. <laughs> I know, oh, yeah, I know. Dan drove top fuel car. Yeah, I, I talked okay, to Dante I literally an hour and a half ago, and he said, oh, tell John. I said, hi. He said, you know, John is the Joe Namath of drag racing. Well, well, let me tell you, Dan Pastorini was a great football player. We all know that, quarterback. But he came and raced top fuel, and we raced against him down there in Florida, and he ran the NHRA circuit for years after he retired from football. The guy was just unbelievable what he could do with a race car. And, and unbelievable what he could do with the football. Yeah, well, he had. I, I tried to get him to call in just to, to ask the question or something. He had prior engagements, but you know he had nothing but glowing reviews and things to say about yourself. I mean, look, you've done so much for drag racing, and this goes back, what, 40-plus years. It's not like this is your first time in the rodeo. Yeah. You've been around for a long time. No, I started 1974, so, you know, professionally, I went down under to Australia, um, I started in the early days, I drove Chevrolet, and uh, then I switched to Ford, but I'm back to Chevrolet now. But no, the sport's been really good to me. It's fed my family, my children, and now everybody works in my family for John Force Racing, except for Courtney, uh, took time off with her husband. He has his own business, and of course he drives, uh, you know, in IndyCar. And, um, but no, the sport's been good to me, NHRA. I love the fans. 
I love the people. I love the camaraderie, all of the, the teams. I grew up in a trailer park when I was a kid, and now I'm in the biggest uh, trailer park, uh, you know, on the racing circuit. And I'm out there with all my friends, and, and we race. Our sport's great because we have men drivers, but we also have female drivers. Uh, so you, you can go to Chicago. You can see Top Field Dragster, where my daughter Brittany is. You can see Funny Car with me and Robert Height. Uh, they got Pro Stock and all the, the categories, Pro Mod, Motorcycles, Pro Stock. It goes on and on. Like I said, greatest show on earth. Right now, John, you are ranked number two on the NHRA Top 50 Drivers from 1951 to 2000, only behind Big Daddy Don Garlitz. That's crazy. You think of all those people and all those successes out there, and you're right there with them. And that's really, I mean, well, if you look at... to my heroes, you know, Don right? Perdome and, and, you know, Shirley Muldowney's out there. These are people I love that I grew up with. But right. nobody's ever going to pass Big Daddy Don Garlitz. He is the king. He's like Elvis. He always will be. And I'm just <laughs> proud to have my name in the same sentence with his. Well, you're on the Mount Rushmore of drag racing, that's for sure. It's, it's very exciting to have you here because yeah. we don't really get a chance to talk about drag racing very often. And, you know, we've seen those commercials a hundred times, and it doesn't matter if you're in Chicago, L.A., Florida, New York, whatever. We have an audience that go, stretches all the way from Honolulu to New York down to Florida and a bunch of points in between. And I remember those commercials even when I was a kid. It was the U.S. 30 drag strip. It was a pretty popular place. But I, you know, I never got a chance to go see the races. The only thing I've ever seen are the races on television. And even Dan told me, he said, you know, there's nothing that can emulate the sound of being right there at the races because it's so loud and thunderous. If you don't go to the races, you're really missing out because the sound literally shakes you out of your seat. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. Seeing it, uh, there's nothing like being at the races. Being in the stands, you can feel your tail end shaking from the vibration of these cars on the horse. You're talking two race cars. You're talking 20,000 horsepower. Uh, but you can see us on Fox every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on, on, on race weekend. And uh, you can see it. But the feel of it, the smell of the nitro, you know, uh, getting up in the stands, uh, getting a soda, getting a hot dog, a popcorn, and watching this show, you know, men or women going side by side, the team that prepare these cars, you can watch them tear them down in the pit, put them back together. It's just an unbelievable show. Start them up, smell that nitro, and then go out and watch them run. At nighttime, Saturday night, under the lights, it's just the best show to watch the header fire and the tire smoking and all that. It's totally unbelievable. So now let me ask you this: You are now we know that you're the first driver to set the official NHRA Funny Car elapsed time under five seconds in the quarter. Wasn't that at like 338 miles an hour or some crazy speed like that? Well, you know, I've, I've over the years, like I said, I've been out here a lot of years, a lot of championships, and uh, been through four generations of drivers. But but uh, I've set almost every record that's out there. And I'm still setting them today. I'm going after 150 wins. I've got one to go. I'm at 149. And I hope I'm going to make it. I'm sure fighting for it. Uh, you know, uh, Old World Industries out of Chicago brought me in to drive for them under their, their brands, antifreeze and coolant with Peak, and, uh, uh, and, and also their motor oil. Uh, but I'm really excited. At my age, I'm 70 years old, okay? And most guys retire. I mean, Tom Brady of the of the uh, Patriots is going to be 40 or he is 40. And, and he, he's not talking about retirement, but, but in drag racing, like I said, the cars do the running. So I got no complaints. I'm going to just let it carry me to another win. Now, John, can you stick around with us uh, for another segment? Okay. All right. That's good stuff. Cause we have about a minute left in this one. And I know you have the event coming up here in the last minute. I want to talk about that real quick. That's the route 66 NHRA nationals. Isn't that May 30th through June 2nd, I believe, at the Route 66 Raceway, 500 Speedway Boulevard in Joliet, Illinois. And the telephone number for tickets and information is 888-629-RACE. 888-629-RACE. So, folks, make sure you get out there and support this event. Lots of fun. We're going to be back here with John Force, 16-time Funny Car Champion, NHRA. Back here in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Lots more to come here on The Circus.
you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you start up with capital, business strategy, sales, and marketing, and establish your company with a physical location or an online presence on the internet. You decide, you bring the idea, then American Business Trust can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's abtrustco.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's American Business Trust Company. 657-600-1876. Call them today. They'll help your business right away. That's American Business Trust Company. Online at abtrustco.com. American Business Trust Company. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you start up with capital, business strategy, sales, and marketing, and establish your company with a physical location or an online presence on the internet. You decide, you bring the idea, then American Business Trust can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's abtrustco.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's American Business Trust Company. 657-600-1876. Call them today. They'll help your business right away. That's American Business Trust Company. Online at abtrustco.com. American Business Trust Company. A great radio show may sound like it's easy to make, but if you've ever tried, you know that's not the case. With the time spent engineering, producing, and archiving, you end up losing focus on what really matters, the content of your show. If you put your show on the Gab Radio Network, you'll be able to leave all those technical worries to our staff of highly trained engineers and producers. And all you need to do is have fun and put on a great show. Want to find out more? Send an email over to sales at gabradionetwork.com. That's sales at gabradionetwork.com. Daniel French here from News For You every Monday through Friday. I keep with a smile. It's News For You, a five-minute news and commentary broadcast feature. I've had affiliates yell at me because I'm supposedly such a die-hard Republican and others who say I'm such an obvious liberal Democrat shield. It's lonely here in the middle and taking fire from all sides. Get News For You for your station. Just email sales at gabradionetwork.com. That's sales at gabradionetwork.com. Welcome back to the Sports Circuits. I'm your remaster style. This segment is brought to you by Legal Shield, providing legal protection and peace of mind for less than a buck a day. Legal Shield can offer traffic tickets, texting and driving, DUIs, court appearances, estate planning, even contracts given to you that you don't understand, plus a whole lot more. Call Legal Shield at 213-245-1305. 213-245-1305 for legal help for less than a buck a day. 213-245-1305 or visit them at no court. US and tell them the Sports Circus sent you. And a big welcome back to everybody listening in on iHeartRadio, Spotify, or CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports Affiliate. And those streaming the show live at thesportscircus.com. Folks, back here with John Force, 16-time NHRA <clears throat> funny car champion, father of the first family of racing, getting ready to do a big event in Chicagoland, coming up at the Route 66 NHRA Nationals. Welcome back, John. Uh, good to be here. You know, it's great, like I said earlier, to come back to Chicago. I had a rough, I crashed at, at Chicago last year, and I ended up in the hospital there. Uh, but at the beginning of our season, I finished in the top ten, I think. Uh, I don't even know where I finished, fifth or ninth. But, but uh, you know, Coming out of the box at Pomona, we blew a body off the car. We just had a string of bad luck, crashed at Phoenix, 
uh, boy, it went on. My daughter rolled her top fuel over, uh, top fuel car over at the opening race at Pomona. And we both ended up in the hospital. Uh, we were unhurt. We came away with bruises. Uh, but I want to come back. Uh, you know, I qualified six at the 2018 race. I think I think I got my 100 to win. Uh, I'm going for 150 now, but I think I got my 100 to win in Chicago. But I don't nice. remember for sure. Uh, I had a semifinal finish uh, last year, uh, but uh, uh, and I reached the final in 2013. So, but I had wins in 2000, 2004, 2006. So I'm no stranger. Uh, Robert won in 2018 last year. He drives the Auto Club Triple I've got a new driver. Uh, Austin Proc uh, is uh, a young kid, 20 years old, driving for me the Montana brand car. Uh, he'll be there in top fuel, along with Brittany and the advanced auto parts. So we're a family affair. We'll see how it goes. So how many how many people do you have driving for you? And when you go to an event, John, how many people are typically competing in an event? So And how many entries would you have, for example? Well, I'll have four of my own team entered. Uh, I'll take about 10 employees per team. That's 40. And then I take my marketing team and my social media team, and I take, uh, you know, my cooks and my chefs and all the stuff and, and just my everyday marketing people that help me run the operation. So we probably take 60 to the races. Yeah, we have about 30 rooms a weekend. So when we come race in HRA with all the teams, they don't all have four teams, but when we come, we bring a lot of revenue to Chicago and Joliet. We make a lot of people happy. That's great. So when you go to these events, now you're bringing a whole entourage from food all the way to cars and racers and drivers, whatever. How many other racers or drivers are competing in an event, for example? Like in this one coming up, the Route 66 NHRA Nationals, how many racers will there be? You'll probably have. I'm guessing, depending on the entries, but somewhere, you know, 17 to 20 funny cars, uh, 17 to 20, it, it differs at, at each race in top fuel. You'll have pro stock, probably 25 of them. And then the other categories, hell, there could be six, 700 entries wow. in all the different categories, all the way down to the Ma and Pa style, style cars where anybody can bring a car and race. You know what I mean? It, it's a big show. But Chicago in Joliet, they built a beautiful stadium. I mean, it's wraparound, and it's, it's just fun to go. And, and uh, you know, uh, and the conditions are supposed to be good. Of course, it's a week and a half away, so we don't know. But, but most of the teams, you know, uh, you know, when I travel, I tra travel with 10 18-wheelers, and I have five Suburbans that travel, um, uh, Chevrolets, so um, uh, trucks that carry my people, so... Uh, it's a pretty big operation. Then I got the drivers and crew chiefs that fly in. There's about ten of us, wow. so it, it, we we keep pretty busy. Yeah, I'll say, but having an entourage of trucks and suburbans and this and that, and you go in and take thirty plus rooms at the local hotels. Boy, they really must love you as you're traveling across the country as well. We bring a lot of revenue there, you know, from the meals, you know, the hotels that we stay in buying gas and diesel for our cars. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm not the only team Schumacher out of Chicago. is a huge team uh, like ours. He actually has more teams. I think he has seven teams. I wow. have four. Uh, so, I, like I said, we're the traveling circus. We're P.T. Barnum without elephants. Well, we do. <laughs> and you're the sports circus right now. That's great. So after, yeah. after you finish up in Chicago, what's after that? Well, well, we'll we'll take a break and then we'll head to the next race on the circuit, which I think, um, yes, and I think it's Topeka. The schedule keeps moving around, uh, but uh, we're on the race 24 events uh, plus some match races. We start in January testing and we end up at the World Finals in November, so it's 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 a year round. For the spectators out there. It lasts for basically what three days. You could probably get, I would imagine, a three day pass as a spectator to watch how many fans do you think come out for each one of these big events well you'll average uh, i can't give you the actual numbers uh, depends sure. on weather depends on on the uh, on, on uh, you know the weather conditions but 
Uh, drag racing is really holding its own. They've got a great TV package on Fox. Uh, uh, you know, we're NASCAR and IndyCar's little brother. Uh, but, you know, it, it seems to show sometimes, uh, you know, in, in the stands. But, but the people have a lot of choices. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. Ball games, concerts, uh, you know, motorsports, golf, a little bit of everything. But we'll put into probably in Chicago, probably 35, 40,000 people. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But we have events like Indy that, that'll, that'll go 100. It just, it just depends. Well, see, now for me, I'm not really a, a big NASCAR or Indy fan. I mean, I've watched drag racing on television. To me, that's a little bit more exciting because instead of watching the world going around to the left, one giant left turn seemingly for hundreds and hundreds of, of, of loops, so to say, I want to see task completion. Win, win. I want to see some excitement. I want to see something that actually happens in a short span of time instead of waiting many, many hours to find out who the winner is. I want to see something going on on a regular basis. I can say, okay, that was great. I'll be back. I'm going to grab a quick snack. I'm going to go right back, and I'm going to watch the next race, then the next race, and the next race. To me, as a fan, it makes a little more sense to watch drag racing than uh, like the Indy 500, which is great. But let's face it, you're talking 500 trips around the around loop, right? And let's face it, it's, it's not as eventful, in my opinion, as watching those funny cars. Well, what's nice about drag racing, you can go into the stands. Uh, you know, you start early in the day. You watch them warm the cars up. You can go into the midways and ride Harley Davidson's and simulators and see all the different sponsors and what they do in the midways. Great food there, great uh, you know, uh, bathroom facilities for the family. Then you watch them warm the cars up. Every ticket's a pit pass, they call it. You can go up into the stands, you know, watch an hour of racing and go back in, watch them tear the cars down, back in the pits, put them together, get an autograph, a photograph, a picture with your drivers. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's a great show. And then go back up and watch them start them again and watch for four, two rounds on Friday, two rounds on Saturday and four rounds on Sunday. That's what it's all about. Well, John, it seems a lot more interactive with the fans, how they could get up close with the drivers, and that would seem to be a little bit better of a situation. For somebody like myself, for example, instead of trying to get with people when they're in the middle of a race, which you just can't do, you can't get those photo ops and you can't get, the, you can't get up close and personal like you can with the dragsters. Well, you... Like I said, every ticket's a pit pass. You once you get in that gate, you can go in the stands, go in the pits, go in the midway, shop or clothing apparel, anything you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. like I say, it's the greatest show on earth. Um, but but you know, bring the kids, bring you know, mom and dad, and come out there and have some fun. John, what is is it? JohnForceRacing dot com is that your website? Yeah, uh, we have social media that we deal with on all the you know. Uh, you can find John Force Racing. Look up John Force, John Force Racing, uh, NHRA.com, JohnForceRacing.com. You can follow us uh, and and uh, or go to Fox on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and watch it. That sounds great. And the upcoming event is the Route 66 NHRA Nationals, May 30 through June 2nd, at the Route 66 Raceway, 500 Speedway Boulevard, Juliet, Illinois. And, folks, if you want tickets and information, call them at 888-629-RACE. 888-629-RACE. Make sure you check them out and make sure you stop by and say hello to John Force on the Mount Rushmore of drag racing. John, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Come by, have the fans get an autograph, get a picture, and tell me that they heard me on Sal, and I'll be happy. <laughs> that sounds great. And when you come back out here to Vegas, make sure you get back in touch with the circus. We'll bring you in studio. I got you. God bless All right. you. See you at the races. Sounds great. Ladies Bye -bye. and gentlemen, that was John Four, 16-time NHRA Funny Car Champion, father of the first family of drag racing. Make sure you check him out. Again, JohnForceRacing.com, and make sure you check out the event that he's going to be headlining, which is that Route 66 NHRA Nationals in Juliet, Illinois. Back here in just a few minutes on the Sports Circus. Lots more to come. Don't go anywhere.
The Hebo Tea Club's original pure Pau Arco Super Tea comes from the only tree in the world that fungus does not grow on. So it naturally has antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, anti-infection, anti-inflammation, and anti-parasite properties. But maybe more importantly, the Hebo Tea Club's original pure Pau Arco Super Tea builds corpuscles in the blood which carry oxygen to our organs and cells. Our organs and cells need oxygen to regenerate themselves. The immune system needs oxygen to develop and cancer happens to die in oxygen. The tea is great for healthy people and it can truly be miraculous for someone fighting a potentially life-threatening disease due to an infection, diabetes, or cancer. The Hebo Tea Club's original pure Pau Arco Super Tea is only $34.95 plus shipping. Order now at buysupertea.com or call 818-274-8270. That's buysupertea.com, 818-274-8270, buysupertea.com. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Marshall, Ph.D. If you've ever had questions about your health, listen to Healthline Live now online at qnlabs.com. Every Monday through Saturday, I'll take your nutrition questions live during show hours and guide you the best I can on your path to great health. The key to great health is nutrition, and unfortunately, our food sources are not even close to what they used to be. Go to qnlabs.com and join me to learn about quantum nutrition. Ask your questions and get real answers. I'll give you the truth so you're empowered to make excellent nutrition and lifestyle choices. Remember, each day's show streams at your convenience from anywhere, anytime. If you miss a show, you can still find it archived on the website. So take advantage of this great opportunity to educate yourself and your family. That's Healthline Live every Monday through Saturday on QNLabs.com. Back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal. This segment is brought to you by the American Business Trust Company, helping your business with strategy, sales and marketing, capital resources, and establishing your business with a physical location or on the Internet. You decide. You bring the idea. American Business Trust Company can help with the rest. Visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's A-B-T-R-U-S-T-C-O, abtrustco.com. Or call 657-600-1876. That's 657 657- 600 1876, the American Business Trust Company, 657 600 1876. Call them today. They can help your business right away. And a big welcome back to everybody listening in on iHeartRadio and our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast and Spotify. 207 million subscribers in Spotify as well. And those streaming the show live at thesportscircus.com. Shifting to the NBA only because we have to. And I had said this literally at the start of last, well, at the start of the season last year, it was, what, October, said it was going to be Golden State and everybody else. And that's pretty much what it is. And as they continue to march on through the Western Conference, there is just no team that could beat Golden State in the NBA. I'm sorry. You thought Portland was going to give them some kind of a series because each team had one in each other's house. 
out of the four games they split. But let's face it, Portland doesn't have the extra gear or two that Golden State does. Golden State, from top to bottom, has a team of stars and starters. They could start any one of their players on just about any team in the NBA. So their bench is really deep. I think at at the beginning of the playoffs for this series, I predicted that the Warriors would win in six only because I figured TV money and game fixing, we'd probably see six games, but no. It was Golden State sweeping the Portland Trail Blazers, and frankly, it was rather embarrassing for the Blazers. Look, the line, the money line was you had to put up 500 to win 100 in that series, and it seems like putting up a dollar to win 20 cents is frivolous. But what were the odds, really, that Portland was going to beat Golden State in the series anyway? The only team that could beat Golden State is Golden State. They have to beat themselves. And if you think that either Torontosauruses or the Milwaukee Bucks have a shot against Golden State, you must be high. It's not happening. It won't happen this year, next year, the year after. It doesn't matter. As long as Portland keeps their core together, these guys are just going to keep winning. They actually have a shot to do what the Bulls could have done in the 90s. If Jordan didn't get popped for doing what he was doing, the Bulls could have won eight championships in a row. Ben, what do you think about that? Is that fair to say? I would think so. I would think the Bulls could have won eight championships in a row. At least. At least. And let's face it, if Golden State keeps their club glued together, they are the only team in recent history that could match what the Chicago Bulls did in the 1990s And I really believe the Bulls could have won in those two years that Jordan was conveniently off the team playing for the Birmingham Barons just so he could stay on Reinsdorf's payroll for, well, some things that I believe, in my opinion, that may have been going on. I think Jordan got caught gambling, but that's just my say of it. But who the hell really knows what happens? But do you think that Golden State could actually win six, seven in a row? It's hard to say that they couldn't, but, um, I mean, it's just never happened before. So, Well, it hasn't happened in recent time, I mean, until you go back to the Boston Celtics, you know, the whole Red Auerbach days. But if you look at in today's time, because there's no defense played in the league, that certainly favors a great shooting team like the Warriors. But once you start d them up, and that's the argument with maybe Milwaukee or the Toronto Sources. Milwaukee is the best defensive club in the NBA. The problem is they can't shoot at the same rate. They can't keep up with the same scoring. You look at a guy like Curry. Curry can hit threes from the half-court line. The guy is just unconscious. But nobody dees him up because as soon as you breathe on him, you get called for a foul. And then it's a four-point shot, and he's automatic from the line on top of it. So if there was defense allowed to be played, and let's face it, if Milwaukee does play Golden State, in the finals, Milwaukee can D them up, and maybe they'll win a game or two. That's fine. But let's face it, they just can't score at the same rate. I'm sorry. I, I don't see it, and that is the best team to D up Golden State. But really, the only team that could be Golden State, truly, is Golden State. I can't see it any other way. Just doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. But now Toronto is going to try to even the series tonight at two games apiece. It doesn't really matter. Because even if the Toronto Sources do win the series, can Toronto play with Golden State? I argue absolutely not. In fact, I'd love to see what the odds would be with Kawhi Leonard's squad against Steph Curry's squad. Remember, and Curry is sort of, I wouldn't say he's by himself, but they're playing a Durantless Warriors right now. Basically what they were about four years ago. There's no Kevin Durant on the, on the floor. And so what happens there, you get him back, And really, they could probably beat any team 10 games in a row, I would argue. But again, the only team that could beat Golden State is Golden State. I wonder if you could actually bet on that. No, actually, you can't. But bottom line is, it's going to be the Warriors, and that's really the end of that. Now, shifting over to the hockey, this is another argument that's kind of similar. Now, the Boston Bruins have been marching right through the Eastern Conference, doing exactly what they're supposed to do. This team is big and strong 
They're strong on the back six. They're real strong up front on the top six. They've got a very experienced goaltender. And let's face it, the only team that could beat the Boston Bruins today are the Boston Bruins. Because even in the Western Conference, you've got the Blues up three games to two, and the Blues will probably close out the Sharks, pending, of course, if the Sharks get additional help from the refs, as they have gotten every series so far. It's actually been remarkably embarrassing from, of course, the embarrassing hand pass that we never even talked about on the show because I was so pissed about it. The referees did miss a blatant call, and that was... Uh, before the Sharks' Game 3 winner. And, of course, the NHL issued yet another apology on behalf of the benefactors being the San Jose Sharks. I mean, just another embarrassing display of cheating by the referees for the Sharks. Even the announcers were speechless. Even Eric Carlson, quote, didn't see the hand pass that happened to have happened. He said, well, we'll have to check the replay. Look, the entire stadium... The home viewing audience, everybody saw the hand pass. We know the fix is in. It's kind of like the San Jose Sharks are the NHL's version of the NCAA uh, tournament Virginia Cavaliers. Now, the refs, of course, as you saw there, did everything possible for the Cavaliers to win, which they did in a very embarrassing stretch. And we're seeing the same thing with the Sharks. So if the Sharks were to beat the Blues, somehow come back and win the last couple of games, Maybe that would be, of course, with referee assistance. But would that stretch to the Stanley Cup Finals? Now, I don't really know about that one. But if it stretches to the Finals, then, of course, the Sharks are supposed to win, just like the Virginia Cavaliers, in the most ridiculous and lopsided officiating that I've ever seen. Speaking of which, we have Tim Donaghy coming out on Friday who had his problems with the NBA. That'll be a very interesting conversation with Tim to find out what his opinion of NBA and the NHL and so forth with these alleged calls that seem to be missed left, right, and center. We saw it in the Kentucky Derby, in the uh, NFC Championship game, and on and on and on, even in the the English Premier League. It's just been running rampant. So can the Blues beat the Bruins? No. Can the Sharks beat the Bruins only with the assistance of the referees? There's no way that either one of these teams – can put the personnel and the experience on the ice that the Boston Bruins have. And I think either way, with whichever team it is that the Bruins face, the Bruins are going to cruise to yet another Stanley Cup championship. They're going to hoist the cup with a four games to one victory, whether over it's the Blues or Sharks. It really doesn't matter. But ultimately, the Boston Bruins are the best team in hockey And it wasn't that Tampa Bay was the regular season. It's just that Tampa ran out of gas, and they didn't have the stamina to play the playoffs, which is the second season of the NHL with the same energy level that they did in the regular season. Anyway, folks, we're going to see what happens there, and we'll see what happens with the Torontosauruses and the Milwaukee Bucks tonight and the Sharks hopefully will go down to the St. Louis Blues. Hard to say that as a Chicago Blackhawks fan. Anyway, folks, we're out of time. We'll be back tomorrow right here on the Circus with lots more fun. Don't go anywhere until 23 hours from now. We'll see you then. So long, everyone. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM.